Hey guys, Kyle from 1UP Adventures, and today we're gonna to show you how to assemble the Fly Products Rider Thrust. This is what's included with the Moster um, on, the, on the Fly Products. Uh, prop spacer, prop bolts, and then fly products also includes a tool pouch along with two manuals. One is for the bar system and the other is for the rider itself and how to properly assemble it. Uh, you also get a prop, which is generally a helix, and you get six bars and the cage sections. And of course the harness is already installed on the motor from the factory. Let's start with the harness, um, the harness bars, excuse me, but we're just gonna make sure the harness is on here first correctly. Just make sure all of these things are correct, all these pins are in the right way, and uh, that all of the straps on the bottom are also correct. We wanna make sure this is in here correctly. Make sure the bottom straps are both on correctly, and this goes for both sides. There's straps on both sides. And this is a quick release harness, so you can just simply pop these off and the whole harness comes off in about 20 seconds. All right, so we checked the harness, made sure everything is correctly installed. Even from the factory, it's still nice to check. First thing we're gonna do is, this is our pull starting mechanism here. This is a pull start unit, not an e-start. And this is actually my personal unit, and I just prefer having the pull start. So first thing we're gonna do is to install the starter cord. We're gonna pull this off of here, and you can see that just came undone. All we do now is insert it into the hole there and your pull starter is ready to go for the retainer liner, which all you do is connect it right here. For the spars, Fly Products makes this really easy. You have a long set, a medium set, and a short set. You put them on the frame the exact same way that they're laid out here. So the longest ones go on the top, the medium length ones go into the middle side spars, and the shortest ones go on the bottom. So next we're going to install the cage. It looks like a jumbled mess, but really it opens up and is very easy. All we're going to do is put the top piece together, and we always want to make sure you can see the rivets on this side of the cage. We want the net on the outside. So for example, this piece right here, this would be installed incorrectly. And to fix that, all we do is pull this apart, make sure that the net is not tangled in any way or pulling on anything. Insert this back together, and now all of the rivets and all the net is on the outside. Now we're gonna leave this just like this. We're gonna leave the two sides just kind of dangling there. Gives us a little bit more flexibility. Now we'll walk over to the motor and put this from the front, because if we go from the back, we're gonna have the net is gonna be in front of the spars. So we'll simply line up the top two spars. You can kind of wiggle it down. And if this doesn't go down perfectly, you can still pull this apart and then put these on and push it back together. Either way works, this is just another way that you can do it. Now we're just gonna simply follow our way around the cage. You can start on either side, it doesn't matter. Simply pull that up and it slides right together. It'll come out just as easy, but it's nice to have a little bit of snugness. Go down to the bottom one, and this one is a little more tricky because you have three things to line up. So we're gonna start with the spar, line the spar up halfway, and then you line up the bottom as the spar is on there. It all just kind of slides together. And then now we're at the top here. So this is all together. And now the top, or the middle side is almost lined up. Just pick it up, slide it over, pinch it down. And once we're done, we'll put all these Velcros on. So when we tighten the net, we're not gonna tighten these center strings, or the uh, center Velcros yet, because this is actually what tensions your net. We're actually just gonna connect the net so it can't slide around by itself, which is on the bottom here. The net's easily connected. Wrap it around there, that's it. This side is connected, and we'll do the opposite side the same exact way, just to keep the net in one spot. Now for doing these Velcros, they're quite long, and that, there's a reason for that. It's so they can wrap around the poles. So we wanna take it, and you'll see the this is the really soft side, and you wrap it around, and then there's a hook on the back side here. It's a little plastic hook. You're gonna run it through the plastic hook, and it'll come straight up. And you don't want these super tight, you just want them snug. Snug it down, wrap it around, follow it back up, so your fly logo is facing the front, or the pilot. 
Now we'll just do that for each of the other three. There's three total Velcro straps on the outside of the cage. For the netting Velcro, they're just gonna be very similar to the cage Velcro. You're just gonna simply be wrapping these around the frame in any given spot really. But you don't, there are certain places you kind of want to avoid. One being right between the swing arm, this little hole here on the swing arm. It's perfect amount of tension on them. And there's a very nice cheater indicator way to do this. So I wrapped it around the pole here, right around the center of the frame. And you'll know how far you should tighten it because when I pull on it, you can see it ends. That's where you want to go to on each of them. Put the Velcro on, wrap it around. One's done. And we're going to do the same thing for the next one. That one's done. And for the last one, you can see that these, they do have some wiggle room up and down. However, I like this one to go right underneath this back bar, not by, not low into the gas tank and not above this bar. I want it nice and low here. So what I'll do is I'll start up high. Simply pull it tight. Wrap it around. And that's it. Now we just see the same thing for the other side. So now we're gonna be putting the prop on. This is a Helix. On the back, you can actually see it says H30F 125, actually it's 1.25 meter, but that means this is a 125 centimeter prop for the Moster 185. If this was an Atom 80 prop, well, one, it would actually be backwards, but it would also say Atom 80 right on the back. Um, these props are great, actually. They go together. They are carbon fiber. Even though I don't have the carbon fiber look, they are carbon fiber. They're just black on the exterior. And slide it together. And these are great, they actually slide together and they stop. And when they stop, that's where they line up. So you can just put it together just like that. Now for installing this, simply just line it up. Falls right in. And we're gonna flip it over, holding these tight. And we're gonna line this up with the prop. You see this end here? This little bevel here goes inside of the prop. So we'll line this up with the holes. So we have our prop put together now. We have the prop plate, prop bolts, and then there is the little washer on there just so it stops it from uh, coming loose, but also for leaving uh, tool marks. And we have the prop spacer. This spacer does not need to be used when using an EPROP. Uh, however, with the Helix, it does need to be used um, and it does match the motor. So now we'll install it. Now we're going to install the Fly Product Swing Arms. These are quick release arms and all they use is a simple pin. First thing that we want to check is to make sure that the swing arm is not twisted around this harness. So if it's like this, obviously it's all crooked and not going to function properly. We want to make sure everything is straight and in line. And then all we have to do is slide the quick release bar onto the post, line it up, and with these pins, there again, we want to make sure the pin is facing the pilot. Push the pin in. Everything is good. Give it a push. Now we're just going to do the same exact thing for the other side. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the Fly Products Rider Thrust with the Moster 185. Glad you guys were able to watch it, but please keep in mind that even if you get a brand new motor and it's set to your specifications from the factory, uh, these units can be ordered like that and they can be set to your specifications directly from the factory. Still take it out, do a hang test, make sure everything is good. Um, you're gonna want it to be at about 18 to 20 degrees or so of a hang angle and it's gonna be personal preference. Some people like to be a little bit more forward, some like to be back, but try to stay in that middle ground. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to give us a call or get in contact with us and we'll be happy to help you.